Hey, so hi. So this short training is going to be about the six questions that you can ask yourself to research to understand your perfect client at a much deeper level. So in a way, you know, like I talk about the done some training previously on the simple way to understand your niche with you who and what and one being specific one doesn't have to be you can be generic on one um but then when we're going to if you're really going into your you, particularly for content that you do and with your content you want to know kind of like who you're you know you're connecting with your audience connecting with your perfect client and these are six questions that you can ask yourself to really understand now, i'm not a big one around doing big like um demographics and big you know like whole massive you know to avatars and they do this and where they shop and all that stuff i'm not a big fan of that because i think you go into too much detail and end up um over complicating it and not doing the content you want to do and and not doing the right type of content anyways and never doing it because you over it so and just confuse yourself as well about what niche in it but these are six questions so once you've got your niche of like who and what it is you want to serve these six questions allow you just to kind of really understand them at a deeper level so you can then put your content across directly to them so first one is where do they hang out okay so when you talk about and particularly if you're if you're in a position where you're struggling to get clients you need to get clients um you, you know you're you're not you're kind of yeah getting your clients and building your business still in that stage of coaching business is when you want to do like i talk about one strategy so whether it's facebook linkedin but if you just think about where do your clients hang out you know if it's kind of if your target audience is is, is mums for example then then facebook right? if your target audience is is fitness people you know it's got then instagram would be it if your target audience is ceos of companies you know if you're like a leadership coach or whatever you know then you're or you're 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 doing training and coaching with teams then linkedin would be the place where you hang out equally it might be where you're um in some health and wellness like your your where you hang out might be local might be open you know local networks you know if your audience is is busy working mums for example that are self-employed then you know, networking groups, local networking groups would be a place where they would hang out. So where do they hang out? Because that's really important, obviously, to know where, where you can go and do content and do it. So it might be that, that as for this example, like Facebook, for, for, for me, Facebook wasn't the, um was, wasn't a platform that I, I, I liked initially, Um you know, going back years to when it started, whatever, and it took a couple of years and then a couple of years later, it kind of switched because my ideal audience, I realized was on Facebook. So I started doing content specifically for the Facebook algorithm, which is where I've learned a lot about the Facebook algorithm and how to do type of content and when to do it, et cetera, et cetera, around the Facebook algorithm, because that's where my audience hang out, right? So where do they hang out is the first one. It's your first question. Your second question which is quite important is where do they get their information from? So when they're looking for information or something, solutions and stuff, where where are they going for their content? Um, and this will be interesting one. Whether it is is it YouTube? Is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? LinkedIn? Is it Google? Um, you know, some coach talks about like with websites. You know, around if you've got a website like um search engine making or or google ads or whatever but if your if your audience do get their information they go on google to get their information then doing some seo and stuff on your website and making to make sure your website's got some proper keywords in it and then proper and the articles and or the wording in it is is key it picks up on the google searches then that can be really beneficial equally can be decided if you're going to do um for example you know like tiktok a lot of people go oh you need to be doing tiktok because it's growing and going going but if your audience don't go and get their information from tiktok then they go onto facebook and then go into facebook groups or they you know or they're on linkedin for example then that's really important to understand where to do the videos so a bit of tiktok is a really good example where if it's a if your ideal clients are potentially very young audience, you know, sort of kind of in their late teens, whatever, and then 
building a TikTok audience might be great because that's where they go. They're on TikTok and getting their orders from there. Um, equally, you know, whether people go to f- use Instagram to get their content from. So, um, that's that, you know, and again, you know, like YouTube is a good one here. So this is what kind of building one of the strategies you talked about for, for my business this year is about building the YouTube channel up. Okay. So it's, where do they go and get their information when they're looking for information? Where do they go searching? Where do they engage with? So not only just where they hang out, because they might hang out in in Facebook, Facebook groups, etc., something like this, or LinkedIn. This is like LinkedIn, for example, for executive coach, something like that, for executives. So they might be on LinkedIn. That might be where they hang out because it's kind of where they feel like they need, you know, more professional network and sex and more professional social media there's always this kind of thing that's got there. So they might hang out on there. But actually, when they want information about stuff, they may well be on YouTube or they may go, go, go to Facebook groups, for example, if it's something specific that you do. So it's something around, for example, maybe you're someone who's um, with fitness with a golf, for example, then they may well go, they won't go and get that LinkedIn information. They, they might get that. That's where they go on Facebook and probably into some Facebook golf groups and that's where they get their Facebook group, uh, fitness stuff and all that stuff. So where they get the information is really important. Now, as we go into more there, where they hang out, where they get information from, it's kind of that's where they are, where their eyes are, where they are hanging out is then we get a bit more deeper. So the third question is what are their frustrations at the moment? You know, so the frustrations of my clients are coaches, coaches that can't get clients, you know, can't get leads, can't get clients. Okay. So what are their frustrations? What are their challenges is the fourth one. So we've got what are their frustrations? What are their challenges? So, and where these might differ, for example, you might target um, busy mums or, uh, or mature women. Okay. So, their frustrations might be around busy moms might be the frustrations might be around like, you know, can't cook, you know, like healthy kids could have kick it for the kids and stuff like that, healthy cooking. But the challenges could be different in terms of, well, where do they go and get that recipe? Where do they go and get the food because they're busy, right? So what are the challenge, what their frustrations is the third one. What are their challenges is the fourth question to ask yourself. Fifth one and the fifth and six are more, and these you can see where these these are six questions, but they're linked in groups of three. So you've got kind of the hangout and where they get information from, very much linked. What are their frustrations? What are their challenges? Very much linked. And the next two, what are their dreams? Is the fifth question. And the sixth one, what is what's their biggest desires? So their dreams may well be, um, you know, if it, again, if we if we use the example with mums, like their dreams may well be that the fact that kind of that their life is more more sorted. They they've got more energy. They're healthier. They're sleeping better. Um, they're more organized. You know, the, and the desires might be more around bigger house, better holidays, going on holiday, um, better car, something like that, newer car, stuff like that. No worries, troubles. You know, so that their dreams and the desires would be slightly different in that sense. Where look at the desires as in a real desire, and it might be. You're targeting business owners, you know, like um, or people with teams, for example, you know, their dreams could be, you know, that there will be more about their dreams would be, well, you know, well, we know the staff working better, thinking on their own, they're being less stressful on them. And the desires would be like completely stress free, running the business completely stress free where the, the everything is running nice smoothly and they're not firefighting all the time. And it's allowing them to grow to a bigger bigger size business um employ more people and stuff like that so what are their dreams and what are their biggest desires you want to look at so that's the six questions to understand your perfect client at a much deeper level where do they hang out where do they get the information from what are their frustrations what are their challenges what are their dreams and what are their biggest desires and it's worth doing this research if you, you know, it's not saying you can go and maybe do blah, 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 you know, do some research. Ask people, in your, you know, ask these questions too as a polls, for example. If you're in a Facebook group where your your perfect clients are hanging out already, you know, well, you, you've already got kind of that where do they hang out. But if you've got in a Facebook group where they're hanging out, then do this as a poll, you know, like with these, or go to people individually, a messenger, you know, and just say, well, I'm just doing, you know, just building up some 
um some content that i really want to be really valuable to to people i'd love it if you could just help me and share and just um just do some feedback on this survey and some run some surveys you know forms you can do forms look up you know google forms is your free and stuff like that. there's lots of these free forms and stuff like that you can do or one polls in a facebook group um but once you understand this at a much deeper level and then your content you can align and up and up with those things around what their frustrations what their challenges are what their dreams and what their bigger desires is you can align up your content to what that is so that's it um hope this helps and if you need if you have any questions on it then feel free to ask me any questions feel free to dm me um if you've got any questions and uh and i'll see you in the next training video